sometimes I sit down to do a review and you just get a complete blank. You know, I, I don't know how I feel about a movie, I don't know what I'm going to say about it. Uh, Anna's one of those kind of movies where I, I, I watched the movie, I was somewhat entertained, but I don't really know if I've got too much to say about it. Luke Besson arrives back onto the big screen, retreading old ground that he's done many, many times before, um, put upon women discovering female empowerment um, by kicking a, a load of ass all over the screen. Again, much like the femme Nikita, we get this woman who is in a, a very sticky predicament, ha having to break out of this horrible life that she has, and she's giving the opportunity by a shadowy government figure. You kind of know what's going to happen here, because, well, I've seen the trailer, so I, I know she's going to become an ass-kicking spy. But what the movie doesn't tell you is how it's all over the place, how it's a bit of a mess, even though it can be entertaining at times, it's a bit of a slog to get through certain parts of it. The first 20 minutes, the setup of the movie is tedium, pure and simple boredom as we get to where we know the story is going to get to eventually. And, and when we finally get there, it feels as if we're just at another beginning of this character's story and you're wanting it to push a little bit faster. Most times in movies, you want them to stop and spend a bit more time with the character. Complete opposite here. You just want to move it along quicker and quicker. It takes its uh, liberties with the way it tells a story by breaking down the time span, not telling you exactly uh, the full details of everything that's going on. It's hiding information from you so that when it reveals something later on, it's supposed to be like a big, wow, you didn't see that coming. Whereas it feels like you've been given half a story and now you're only getting this part as if it's some kind of uh, revelation later on. It's not. You, you, the story starts like five years ago, then we go part of the story, then jumps to this part time ago, then something else, and then this time ago, and three months before that, and blah, 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 blah. Giving revelation after revelation, double cross, triple cross, quadruple cross, we're just going to keep adding them on until the, the viewer loses count. Ultimately, it's a movie that's just not that interesting to watch. But when it gets to the action stuff, it's kind of fun. Sure, we've seen it before. It, sure, with this story, we've seen it before, you know, very recently as well. Atomic Blonde, Red Sparrow. We've seen this kind of thing done and done better in those other movies. Still, we get fun moments in this. The action's cleanly shot. It, you can see what's happened. It's choreographed well and it looks kinetic and energising as you're watching it. Unfortunately, they don't come thick and fast enough. And when they do happen, they tend to be a little bit samey, doing the same things that we've seen before. It's unfortunate when you go into a movie and you're expecting a, a bland film. It didn't offend me. It didn't really win me over either. When it finished, I was just like, huh. So that was Anna. And kind of forgot about it until I came to do this review. And I sat for five minutes struggling to think of something to say about this movie. Something that could be both positive or maybe negative. You know, I liked Helen Mirren, uh, I thought Luke Evans was fine, Kelly Murphy was fine, I thought the lead actress, who I, I can't say that I've really noticed from anything before, she was, yep, yeah, you've got it, fine, everything feels like it should be, but it doesn't come together in a cohesive whole. It feels like Luke Besson has went back to retread his old ground after the uh, financial failure that was Valerian a movie that I absolutely love and will praise uh, uh, continually until everybody else catches on to the fact that it was amazing. And it's just went back to what he does uh, fairly well and, and just copying the same old thing he's done before, whether it be uh, the professional Leon or La Femme Nikita or Lucy. It doesn't feel like he's stretched himself. It feels like he's took a back step, a comfort area to try and just settle himself before trying something else again. It's uninspired, it's atypical of the kind of movies that have been out round about it. It's fine if you're sitting one night, you have nothing else to watch, you don't really want to concentrate or take anything in, um, and it's the kind of movie that you can throw on. In fact, you can sit and play games on your phone for the first 20 minutes and it won't really matter much to the movie. Anyway, that's my kind of lacklustre opinion to a completely average movie. I would love to know your thoughts on Anna. Let me know in the comment box below and I will see you next time on Man vs Film.